and welcome to Print and Play 3D. My name's Kodai, and this is the only show on the internet where we're going to be combining 3D printing technology and board gaming into one awesome little world. So I heard the talk of the town is Rising Sun. The only issue is, how do you store all these components in just two boxes or just the base box? Either way, Peliquin17, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly, has made an insert on Thingiverse.com. I printed it out. Let's go to the table and see how it works. All right, so now we got the game on the table. Let's take the lid off and see what the insert looks like on the inside. And we're gonna place the lid over here. Okay, so here I have the rule books and the uh, clan sheets on top, uh, pretty standard. And then we get to the game board. That's right there. Moving these aside. We have our first printed components. So. Uh, just going over the layout, uh, these are the, like the clan tokens, so you have the bases right here for the miniatures, and then you have the strongholds that you can build, and some um, the point counters and honor counters. So these are all removable, so we can take them out. And right underneath is... And right underneath are the clans, so uh, we can take one out, so... Here's what the box looks like. This is the alternative design uh, that I chose to print because I could cram a lot more miniatures inside the box, uh, like with this style instead of the other style. So uh, you can make your own choice if you decide to print this on your own. This is the one I went with. And then we have some of the uh, god tokens here, the Kami ones right here. They're a little tight fit. I need to still file these down. Uh, we still got some more player tokens, and this is what the Turtle Clan box looks like. I decided to put all the uh, Turtle Strongholds inside here. They fit pretty nicely. And then, move some stuff out of the way. And then, we have this token tray. So this one has the season uh, points, right? Uh, they fit here. The only thing is, is that you're going to have to do some filing because uh, I can't get it to go down all the way, which is fine. I'm going to do some filing later. And then these Ronin tokens are actually supposed to go in here, but allow me to move the coins for a second. Let me move some of these out the way. So these are supposed to fit in here. Um, again, if your toler tolerances are not right, they could get stuck and they just don't go in all the way. Again, you can avoid this by scaling the model a little bit or you can uh, file them down. I, I probably plan to file them down. So, moving along, we have the monster miniatures right here. These are most of the core ones with some of the additional ones. So I put the, the different Kami ones here. These are from another expansion. And this one is removable. And right here I have uh, I have some season cards here. I have some season cards and comic cards over here, hanging out. Then uh, I have the player boards right here, and some more monsters and some more seasonal cards. Uh, this monster tray also comes out, and they do have some slot holders for the monsters, which is nice. So that's what the insert looks like. All right, so that's going to wrap up our quick look view at the Rising Sun insert from Peliquin17. First of all, thank you so much for making this insert really quickly when the game came out. Um, it was a joy to just watch it print and have an insert available to me like pretty much instantly. That was great. Um, the only thing I would say is that the tolerances were a little bit tight on the token holders. So like the Ronin token slot and the Victory Point tile slot was a little tight. Uh, so what I did was I just filed it down rather than uh, scaling it back up and reprinting it. So if you want to print this at home, uh, just be aware. And you might just have to scale it like 2%, 3%. Um, that's my suggestion. Or you can just file it down like I did. Uh, the other thing is, this is a small one, is the the clan boxes that I decided to print are, they have some like thin walls. Uh, so it's a little weak. So if someone grabs it, like they just monster can grab it then um then i feel like it could, could just break but 
that might be me in my print settings. Uh, I'm going to mess around with that a little bit later. But that's just something I want people to be aware of. Uh, he does have another clan box style um, that you can use. And I would suggest you take a look at that. That looks a little bit stronger if you wish to use um, that type of setup. So with that, I'm still really, really excited and happy to use the insert and get it back on the table. This is a great game, great insert. Good job. And if you guys want to find out more about Board Game Essentials, go to youtube.com slash Board Game Essentials. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. See ya!